Okay. Hello, good morning, and welcome to a new episode of Empowering Voices. We have a special person today, very special. We've been friends for a very long time. Uh, she's Katia Morales, and we met uh, a very long time ago, actually, when yes, I lived I think, in Mexico. Uh, 15 years ago. Oh, my. <laughs> I More feel, or less. I feel old now. No, but anyway, um, and we've been in contact and uh, big changes in um, both my life and her life. And now we are again here. Um, so um, Katia Morales will tell us um, about herself, her business, and how what I'm wearing today, Unstoppable Resilience, everyone knows that is one of my favorite words, resilience, can be applied to her business and her personal life. Welcome, we are very happy Thank to have you here. Please tell us all your secrets. Okay, oh, Mara, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I am so, so happy to share with you this moment. Also because um, we met about 15 years ago you know, and uh, our lives have been, have been changing so much you know, yeah. year after year and now I think that I'm living a second life inside exactly. my, my life you know? <laughs> yeah. because um, as you said I uh, when, when we met I, I used to be working in Schenkel you know? it's a corporate you know? and uh, practically for 15 years of my life I've been working for corporate industries and um, it was very satisfactory you know I, I well you very... were a very successful uh, uh, businesswoman also in that uh, field you. of course so of course but, it was satisfactory yes, yes but you know it, it was like uh, it it was supposed to be for me, you know, to have a good job, to keep growing in the corporation, to change, you no, know? because in Mexico is is very strange, you no. Know? We we are very used to change between jobs, you no. Know? Yeah. Uh, to, to grow quicker. You know? yeah. yeah. Exactly. And um, and then I got married. <laughs> I I bought my first apartment. So life was like. Ha, at, as it has to be, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I, I have my first, like, I don't know if it was my first crisis you know, yeah. when I was like 35 years old. I, I, I decided to, to break uh, my, my marriage because mm -hmm. I was not happy. I was in a toxic relationship. So uh, it was very, 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 very hard to get off of that, but it was for my health, you know? yeah. my physical health, because I, I was sick, my mental, my emotional uh, health, and it was like a gift that I did for myself. You know? That was my first crisis. Then um, I, 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 every crisis I, I love. I love crisis, okay? In yeah, exactly. Uh, I always exactly. say the disruption is uh, creation because exactly. from crisis, uh, there's always, you come out, it's a bit like the butterfly, right? I mean, exactly. you have a process mm -hmm. uh, and you go deep and deep and deep and then when mm -hmm. it's done, it's done. Exactly. And you come out it's, another person. Exactly. It's, with it's something like a, more. Mm -hmm. A revolution. Exactly. It is a revolution, you no. Know? And uh, when you finally uh, take your insights, do your catharsis, do your internal job, you uh, piano piano, <laughs> you you step by step go yeah. out, you no. Know, for yeah. for for this uh, because it is like um, when do you? It's like uh, how do you say when when somebody dies? Is um, yeah, it's like well, uh, you, you were born again. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, I keep working in, uh, uh, in corporate. Then um, when uh, in, in, two, in 2015, yes, I got another crisis, but it was like a more internal crisis, you no, know, about my mission of life, what do I wanted, etc. No? Yeah, about I, your, the vision. 
uh, UA exactly. for yourself. Exactly. And uh, then after this, I quit my job. I decided to take two months in vacations for just for me. I made the Camino de, so de Santiago de Compostela road. That's that amazing. Is that's amazing. amazing. Life changing. Totally yeah, it's life on my wish list, actually. Exactly. Hopefully, no. COVID will let us one you day. You must. Well, for me, it's like a comparison, the Santiago de Compostela road with life, no? Because I, I totally uh, recommend to do it uh, by yourself, no? Because it's like that, that, no? You begin alone, then you meet people, friends, etc. Then you keep uh, alone. I mean, it's a very trans transformational yeah. you know, um, journey yeah exactly then after this I arrived to Florence <laughs> <laughs> when I arrived here you know it was so amazing because I remember that when I when the when the the um, the airplane arrived it was like my heart like this no and I I, I remember I feel oh I arrived home no I remember to tell this to my aunt that lives here, um, and she says it's very strange because I, I very I I where uh, I came to Florence very often. Yeah, so, you knew the country anyway. Yeah, exactly. you traveled a lot exactly. in also in other countries, so it was a new experience. Uh, these uh, like butterflies in your stomach. Yeah, exactly. But in this case, it was so special. I didn't understand why. Then three days before i no three days after later, sorry, mm -hmm. later i i met my husband <laughs> <laughs> and this then, is a very romantic story <laughs> it was so strange and um and then i'm here no <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah you fine. stayed i mean you arrived you landed exactly. uh, then and you never left again i mean for exactly. traveling well, but your yes, life is I, there I come now back, yeah. then yeah. we we practically got married five months later so it was very 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 quick so uh then i didn't have a job i i i'm trying to to make this long story short no yeah of oh, course but uh, yeah um, but we are very curious to know how it <laughs> went because so, many people go through crisis and to have the hope and to see um mm -hmm. because of course uh, then I, I know what happened afterwards and uh, it's uh, a, a happy um, uh, um, journey, uh, happy happenings. So um, please go on. Uh, after you get ma you got married, so you hey. found your um, your husband. Exactly. I mean, in fact, I think that the difficult thing was not to take the decision to say, "Okay, I'm like the mad of the of the tarot <laughs> of the tarot," but to settle down here to find yourself from the very, very fresh beginning with, uh, I didn't find a job, no matter that I had a good curriculum, etc. It was very, very difficult for me to pass from, as, I quit the, my job because I was so stressed out. I, I, I was born out, no? Yeah, I got true. so many things to do every day. And then it was like, okay. <laughs> Now, me, uh, my, me, myself, and I, what do we do? Exactly. And then to say, oh, my God, my, my goal in my day is to prepare the lunch for my husband. I mean, <laughs> is that it? it you yeah. know, it was like, yeah. um, it, it was not a crisis by itself, but it was like very hard to see that... Uh, maybe we have so many fantasies in our head, you know, and then um, to confront the life is very, very different, you know. Yeah, so another. anyway, I invented myself. Yeah. Uh, our, Think about our resilience. See, I mean. Exactly, even... exactly. That's the. That's the, the um... Yeah, because I think, um, I mean, otherwise, if you would have been uh, not satisfied, frustrated, mm -hmm. because at the beginning, for sure, it was a new country, a new husband, a new way of life. But then your exactly. husband works as well. So you exactly. would have spent so much time alone, coming from a very 
a busy life because uh, the mm -hmm. corporate life you had in Mexico being at a very high level was very stressful but also busy and giving you a lot as well so yes yeah, you had to find the balance definitely Exactly. And as you as you say, Mara, so I lost when when you you uh, I loved you, your t shirt. <laughs> no. And I love the the profound meaning meaning that it has, no, because I re the resilience that now is like a, a the trendy word. Exactly, it's like trendy, but um, I think that um, it, it has a more deeper, no, um, meaning, no, that everybody talks about, no, because this is it's not. I mean, I think that uh, resilience is a capacity that everybody can um, develop. You think can develop? Yes, mm -hmm. of course, totally. No, it's like a muscle. Mm -hmm. So, because is uh, the resilience is like uh, the 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 capacity to recover quickly to mm -hmm. the from difficulties, no? Mm -hmm. So, I think it's a change of mindset because it's to not to see the problems as problems, but yeah. as opportunities exactly. to grow up. Yeah to make the, the quality jump, no? to change your life. I think that uh, honestly, it's a, it's a thing that I, I have never think about. I think, you know, uh, it's not like, oh, okay, what do I uh, can, uh, what can I do in this difficult situation? No, because I don't find a job. Yeah, oh, I will be resilient <laughs> no? yeah. and do this. No, no. I mean, so over time, it was as you like, said, oh, as you said, it's a muscle. So over time, you discover to exactly. have a real, a really. And as you said, every, mm -hmm. because I always say to my audience, I mean, when you make choices, you have 50% um, uh, opportunity to, uh, mm -hmm. it goes well and 50, it goes wrong. But if it goes wrong, still, you are receiving a teaching and it's mm -hmm. an opportunity to grow and get out of your comfort zone. And, and then the possibilities in life are never ending. You never know what's next. And it exactly. can be something fantastic you never thought about, mm -hmm. right? Yes, I, I, I think that, um, well, it's very strange, no? Because um, practically now that I'm 40, no? Uh, early 40s, <laughs> I, I, I have this, this other spiritual crisis and this was just in this 2020, sorry, I... Yeah, I there, rewind, there was a, a, no? big, a big chunk in the middle. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> because, okay, I, I said, okay, I will uh, build this, well, open an agency, a wedding planning, because I said, okay, what can I, I what I'm able to do? Okay, I'm good at project management. I used to have the... Um, responsibility for trade marketing. So all the promotional events, uh, corp uh, expos, uh, Congress, etc. So I said, oh, okay, tourism, no? Let's see, uh, opportunity um, uh, windows, no? So I opened this, this, uh, this uh, beautiful, that, you know, I discovered an, another vocation, beautiful mission of life, yeah. no? To make, to bring I mean, uh, happiness happy to people. Is these weddings, that is the dream. Yes. Well, I mean, the locations are perfect, all the organization, and she does it with all her passion. So, I mean, the couple um, really, has uh, the dream wedding uh, and can only enjoy it. So that's fantastic. Actually, all your contacts will be uh, here uh, <laughs> in my bio because uh, um, soon, I mean, the, um, mm -hmm. the field, the industry will pick up again. Everyone will get married. <laughs> so, uh, yes, no, in fact, I, I hope so, no? And it, it, nevertheless, there, there were so, Less weddings, but we we were able 
to 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 complete the weddings for the couples no practically what i do is to create experiences no from the beginning to the end it's not only the wedding but all the um all the experiences that uh are around it's around experience the, as yes, the organization of wedding, the wedding. No? Yes, so um but okay i was very happy very satisfied i i discovered a new uh, aspect of me myself you no know? and uh, it was fantastic you no know, to to keep discovering abilities and uh, and qualities Perfect. and capacities yeah. that you didn't know you have it you no know? yeah. so that that was amazing but anyway in the if maybe in the spiritual or uh, yes in the, my connection with myself i was like a little bit uh, blog out yeah. disconnected exactly because I was very busy again, no? <laughs> it's part of my, my, my... Of yourself, yeah, you exactly. like it. So... Yeah, definitely. <laughs> exactly, so I was again very busy, very full of job, uh, you know, with rush and stress, no? Because wedding planning is one of the most stressful... Of course, uh, because all the problems, <laughs> everything can go wrong, it's on you. Of course, the, 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 the exactly. couple of so jobs when drawing. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's a big responsibility, no? So anyway, uh, during this lockdown, I, I was in Mexico, a part of it, uh, I, I, I was locked in, in Mexico. And uh, I, I, I make us again, no? Like a connection again with myself, with so many friends that are very in the spiritual life. So it was so amazing, no? So, come back to me again and then when I came back here in Florence I continued to to explore this fortunately it was a gift of the life no that gave me all this time to work yeah but you deeper yeah. very deeper in myself no then um tarot arrived to my life I yeah. I it, it, it was a thing that I always were, I, I was always very curious about it, but I never have the time or yeah. the... I know. think also culturally, Mexico is uh, a country very open to spirituality anyway. Yes. So yes. you have it in your roots. And I, I had the honor to have a, a read from you and I, and I know you, so I really feel it's natural. Uh, it comes very naturally from you. And uh, as you said, that we never stop discovering abilities. Yeah. So, um, so tell us that uh, you started um, yeah. Um, yeah, I, studying I, I because started, it's, no. it's been a long study, not only of yourself, but of the, the, the medium you are using. Yes, in fact, it's a system, no? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a system because it's... A again a big responsibility because you can say something that if a people is a person is not ready or is in hell i mean is in too suffering, fragile. You know? yeah yeah, too yeah fragile exactly it can whatever you say can destroy a life no yeah, okay. so I, that's why I wanted to do it by the ethical way. And I studied, I really was, my husband used to say, oh my God, you are crazy, you know, because I was like, not obsessed in a bad way, but- um, oh, But I you wanted curious. to feel, yeah, you wanted exactly. to feel that you were doing the right thing in exactly. the right way. Yeah, definitely. Exactly, very seriously. So I keep, uh, okay, I studied many courses, not one, but, Many, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I read I don't know how many books and uh, when I feel ready I, I came out to the world you no know? and uh, it was so amazing the 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 reception that I had you no know? because I was very very um, scared about the uh, how you could be perceived as well, exactly. because uh, yeah, sometimes people exactly. are not are not very open to uh, spiritual. We try to; it's a part of everyone uh, uh, of us, but we sometimes exactly. try to uh, hide or pretend 
it's not there. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of the time out of fear, not uh, anything else. So, yes. of course, it's uh, understandable that you were not sure, you were a bit shy, but then, I mean, you had an amazing... Yes, and also because <laughs> and, I, have to, I have to tell you, no, like, it's not a secret. No, I mean, it's a secret mine, but now it, it won't be a secret anymore. <laughs> yes. I, I have to tell you that I have... Um, as all of us, some um, child, childhood issues, no? as everybody. So one of my main um, childhood issues is rejection. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's you know, like a continuous work uh, that now that I'm conscious that this is an issue, no? mm -hmm. I work to pushing me in situations to help me to heal, no? yeah. to make the quality jump, to, to be better, as you said. No? Mm -hmm. to, I think that um, this is the best gift that I can give to myself. No? Definitely. To, to, um, to push me no? uh, in situations that maybe I know oh, Katia is very good, but not, no? but I know that my higher self wanted me to be better and evolve no so um that's why this was the i don't know the another <laughs> yeah the beginning for me. of another um yeah. passion and uh, of another journey and that yeah. also uh, doesn't mean that you leave what you were doing before uh, mm -hmm. of course the two things can go uh, together actually it mm -hmm. would be a service you <laughs> to your uh, uh, yes to exactly no, no, uh, because <laughs> <laughs> no and also as you as you um as you said in fact um when we uh discover you no know, all these um new things you no know, you are you are a more um rich person and you 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 like you are like um adding no like point the check yes check, yes, check. yes yeah yeah, and, uh, yes i'm sharing this because um it's not that i'm not a, a super courageous person and uh, that i can make all my dreams come true because i'm katya mm -hmm. i think that all of us can do this no um but we have to take the first step. Step exactly. Do it, no, because um, because I uh, think sometimes it's even difficult to recognize mm -hmm. that we can. In exactly. fact, it's a big part of my mission and my why as well. As you know, uh, mm -hmm. I want to tell women, especially in my case, uh, that they can, but not because there will be a magic. Uh, want to make uh, miracles, but because mm -hmm. we need to give this first step and start going deep, because we can. We don't know ourselves like we think we do. Um, mm -hmm. So exactly. it's always a surprise to discover sides of our personality that can help and mm -hmm. sides that, that can ruin ourselves mm -hmm. because there are often limiting the leaves of mindsets approach that are put in our head from the mm -hmm. outside world it's not us so mm -hmm. the moment we get rid of all this and we start uh, investigating inside mm -hmm. we can only come out as winners and for mm -hmm. everyone is possible mm -hmm. although i think people like you are have, as you said, the responsibility to tell people that it's mm -hmm. possible and give a sort of guidance, uh, and at least at the beginning, you know, and we all need a bit of guidance because sometimes we are a bit uh, lost, even if we are so advanced in the process like you are, for example, mm -hmm. but uh, there will be always a moment where you have to give up something mm -hmm. To go to the next level yes yes in fact this is well 
I, I would like to share two, two ideas. No? One is uh, the, the, um, the comfort zone that you mentioned, no? that unfortunately is like a commonplace no? to say, oh, you have to get out of your comfort zone. No? But uh, when you really interiorize no? that phrase, then you you um, you know what is what your soul, your inner self wants to go to go out this comfort zone, no? Yeah. That you don't know what it is. Yeah, no? it's not a physical space, of course. Exactly, it's different for everyone. Yeah, exactly. And the other thing I wanted to say, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> sorry i i i don't know maybe it will come it will tomorrow. come <laughs> so uh, to, uh, to help you a bit your memory uh let's see if he, if there is uh, a quote or uh, something that is a bit the guide for your business and your personal life so mm. you know one of these quotes where you uh go to give you strength and energy when needed mm -hmm. Do you have any um, special words or? Let's. Oh, yeah. Why not? Well, exactly. Uh, to, to, I think that uh, to finalize now uh, this session, normally when I, when I finish my sessions with uh, my, my consultants, um, I always read a couple of, uh, of oracle, oracles, depending no, what was the, 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 the way, direction, the, path, yeah. the, mm -hmm. the direction no, that the, the, the reading has. So I love this, that is work on your life because it's a very um, intuitive and help you to connect with your deeper, deeper uh, self. No, that um, I think that's it. In fact, I, I remember now that what I wanted to say first is that, um, in fact, my way, my, 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 uh, like uh, my role, no, helping or assisting these people that comes to me for a reading. In fact, I'm like a, just like a, cha a channel mm -hmm. uh -huh, be, between the person and it, itself. Uh, uh, between the person and the inner part of the person. Exactly, yeah. their higher self. Mm -hmm. And then um, practically all the messages that they receive, you included, no, are very powerful and, um, and love, uh, full of love and uh, of light messages no like keep going do it no uh, and um, i'm just uh, can, uh, uh, a channel no yeah uh, the message for, the, for this exactly for the message so um i think that um this would be no the the key to not be afraid yeah. to not think that not overthink the things that and to trust in your inner um intuition mm -hmm. because you know i call it inner magic i mean everyone gives a name exactly. and, uh, um, exactly. but it's something deep inside ourselves yes. Uh, yes that no one can describe really but you feel it exactly and and she or he knows Mm -hmm. It's just that uh, we sometimes wanted something so so hardly, no? That we we have a like a whisper here, and we said, no, 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 it's better to not yeah. to hear. I wanted to go there, no? But then when you come back and make the the match, no, between you and yourself, then you find the magic, as you say. Yeah. You find the 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 response, but the the best response for your best no yeah. i don't know if if i can yeah no it's me. like um, <laughs> a knowledge that you have uh, inside and you have to find the ways uh the channels to take it out in reality mm -hmm. it's an inner power inner magic uh, your inner goddess 
um, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, but is uh, mm -hmm. better uh, defined as yourself because mm -hmm. it's only that. Okay. I mean, uh, there's nothing uh, uh, behind, above, or <laughs> anywhere. Exactly, else. exactly. It's so easy because we have all the answers yes. in ourselves. Yeah. So if you would agree, if you agree, Mara, I would like to share a message. No? Yeah, sure. With uh, with uh, with your your audience. community, yeah, no, your audience, and let's say let's see, no, which is the message that um, that they 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 say, no, okay, okay, okay. I I love also these cards, my <laughs> God. Look, look this, okay. and which is the. Answer, Answer the, the call. call. Oh, come on. What is your soul <laughs> calling, yeah. you, cal calling you to do? to do? Yeah, without being afraid and no matter what. Exactly. Exactly what you were saying. Exactly. So let me, let me share what they, they say. It's a, it's a very powerful message. Don't you think, Mara? Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> so look, okay, this is the message for all of you that are uh, watching at this transmission. So answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Your guidance is divinely guided. You are being called to answer the call of your soul. What I'm saying. <laughs> it might be scary. Mm -hmm. It might not make sense but if you trust your soul's yearnings you will have a life beyond what your mind could possibly imagine answering your soul's calling is not a one-time thing of course mm -hmm. rather a lifelong dance yeah deep down you already know what you long for what your soul yearns for you are in exactly the right place to answer your calling now. You don't need to know the whole plan. You don't need, even need, to know where it is leading. Yeah. You just need to take this, the next step. No one has never had the complete perfect plan. No one has never had uh, sorry, I'm repeating <laughs> the complete perfect plan. There is no end destination. There is no right or wrong way to do it. And you do not need permission for, from anyone else. Yeah. Sometimes the more resistance we have around answering a soul calling, the more important it is to our soul's growth. That's amazing. It's the perfect conclusion to what exactly. we were discussing. It's amazing. So not to be afraid because the knowledge is there. We are definitely um, responding to the call. And although we don't see where we are going exactly. uh, and what will uh, the outcome be, it will be the right one. We have to trust exactly. in that. Mm -hmm. And also, as, um, as, as we said, no, the resilience is a, is a muscle. So don't worry. Keep uh, working out. No? And the most you're working out, the most your intuition will know Which where to go. So yeah. Yeah. there's no way to, 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 um, to, to mistake. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, uh, Katya. And uh, oh, you are you froze for a second. Let's see. I lost Can you, Mara. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mara. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, you froze for a second. <laughs> yes, that's exactly. fine. So uh, thank you very much for being with us. Um, it's been you <laughs> like a, a session <laughs> with the tarot <laughs> i feel yes i can relax now <laughs> uh, <Exactly. laughs> so thanks again for being with us 
uh, we had a lot of fun and eye-opening uh, moments. And uh, all your details will be in the post and in my bio. Thank you. And um, speak to you soon. Have a lovely day, everyone. Thanks again. You froze again for a second. Um, I say Thank goodbye. Thank you. And I wish you a very luminous and expansive life. Thank you. Thank Not you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks to you.